So one person, yeah, exactly. Which way do you want to go? Ethan's call. Um, let's go towards the door. Okay. Ready? You know, you hear a creak and groan and make all sorts of noise. Catching it, Yeah, I got it. Okay. I expected more creaking and groaning. Yeah, there wasn't much there. That's a, a good epoxy job then. Okay, so let's think about what we've got here, right? We've got station zero, right? Station one, station two, station three, station four. And station five is imaginary. Station five, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for those five stations now, you've got a height from a baseline mm -hmm. and a half breadth, okay? So the, for uh, blueprints with boats, we literally cut the boat in half and then measure off of the bottom. So oh, okay, yeah. X and Y axis kind of, but yeah. we use an imaginary baseline and an imaginary center line. So this is now the center line of our boat. So we can start to get measurements for half breaths. All right, so let's just do one there and one there. And then a piece for Joe to be able to tape his down. I could use this. You got it? Okay. All we're doing now um, is you're defining the stations, right? Mm -hmm. So if we grab that tape measure now, the length of this green line, right? The length of this green line is the overall length of your boat, right? So now we have a starting point. Now we can build the scale, right? Remember back to doing the, the half hull? Yes. Yeah. yeah, so now you have whatever size your paper is now, because everyone's got a slightly different size paper. Cute. Right? With your drawing area, now you've got the length of your boat, so now you can make that ratio for what scale you're drawing to. Okay? Once you've got that scale laid out, now we know that that's station zero. How far back from station zero is station number one? Well, now I can get that measurement. Does that make sense? That's beautiful. Right? It, it's actually fairly simple once we start doing that. Mm -hmm. Now I've got the center line, right? So if I leave this guy, say, right there, now I can measure out at the shear, at plank one, at plank two, at the bottom, to tell what my half is are at each station. Right? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Let's get some numbers. Mm -hmm. 